All together this is Christmas time. Twine after twine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. You guys have no idea how excited I am. Um, I've actually tried filming this video like two times before, but the lighting before was just like the day, natural day that, that comes into this room is just total mash. It's like not good. So um, I had to wait until I get some lights. I got some lights, so I'm so happy about that. Um, but yeah, uh, if you've been wondering where I've been, why I haven't been uploading for such a long time and like what's been going on basically, this is kind of like a life update to get ready with me, trying to tell you like what happened and why I haven't been uploading and like for you to know the, like the genuine reasons why I haven't been here for such a long time. <laughs> And yeah, if you're interested in knowing like what actually happened, continue watching. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy and so excited for like videos to come. I'm going to be uploading videos much more constantly and vlogs as well. And I'm going to mention all of this in the video. I just don't want to ramble on for too long. But yeah, um, if you want to know what's been going on, please carry on watching. Hi guys, I just want to say really quickly before I start getting ready um, that I am really really sorry that I haven't uploaded in a video in a really really long time and they were tons of things were coming in the way and I just couldn't do like film a video or edit or upload or anything and I'll tell you why and I also want to say excuse like my nails they're like at that stage where I really need to like do them again I've got like two missing nails and the other ones are just looking grubby and disgusting so I'm sorry but aside from that um, let's just go ahead and get started because I think this is going to be a pretty long one today so I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you everything absolutely everything that I'm using only new things that I haven't used on my channel before and that I know for a fact I haven't used before and as always I'll link everything down in the description below but I'm just priming my face with the Nivea Poche Balm Alright, so the foundation that I'm using today is a new one This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation in the shade 51 Light Vanilla and I'm just going to do like a pump and a half to lighten it up with a bit of the NYX Total Control Foundation I know I haven't uploaded in a video in a super long time and I have like really good reasons why and one of them you might notice is that my background changed and that is because you can probably tell from the title already I moved to Brighton yes I did so I've been here now for like three weeks four oh my god it might be four weeks and I haven't done a video or uploaded oh my god Anyways, that's a fact. I've moved to Brighton and I'll tell you why. <laughs> um, I moved here because of uni. I'm going to study here and it's just amazing. I'm so happy I'm here. It's just... It still feels a bit surreal. Like, I still don't get like I'm quite here, but I am here. And that's why I haven't like uploaded a video in a really long time as well. That's one of the reasons. But mainly, I'm going to start from the very beginning. Now, um, what happened in September was that the first two weeks of September I was actually feeling like very ill and I had like this pain in my stomach and I didn't know what it was and I was just like Oh, it's surely it's surely like because of exercise. I just I just had lactic acid and blah 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 like I didn't think anything of it so um, I was still I, I was taking a painkiller for a few days because I had shirt I had for the I had hurt my shoulder and I really needed okay fail and I really needed like some painkillers for the shoulder because it was like really swollen and like kind of semi dislocated it all with my wrist and blah 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 so I was taking painkillers and I, I just kept on having like this pain in my stomach in this certain area and it's just started getting worse and I'm like I'm on painkillers this shouldn't be happening so I just told my mom like, I told my mom from the beginning, but I told my mom, like, this is getting worse, this is not getting better, um, blah, blah, blah. So then, one night, I was just like, this isn't normal, I might want to go to the hospital tomorrow. So the next day, my mom was, like, just checking me the whole day to see, like, how I was and what kind of pain I had and things, because she wanted to know if it was something serious. 
it wasn't like I was sick or anything, I hadn't eaten anything, so it was like really strange. And then, all of a sudden she told me, oh my god, when I was 19 I got appendicitis. Maybe you're having the same thing too, you're having like the same, like the exact symptoms of appendicitis and I'm like, oh no, please tell me it's not a surgery. And by that weekend, like that was on um, Friday morning, by that night I just couldn't take the pain anymore, like I couldn't do anything, it really started to hurt. Well, it was an unbearable pain, but I was just like really annoyed that I couldn't do normal things, they started to hurt, and I'm just like, this isn't normal. So I went to the hospital, and by the way, that was on the 15th of September, so I was already like struggling for two weeks. And I did not, know, did not know what was going on. For concealer, I'm using the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer, and this is become actually one of my favorites now. Um, it's in the shade 1 Ivory, so that's like a head start of my favorites. I didn't do September favorites and it sucks, so I'm going to mix it with the October. But anyway, um, I was on the 15th and I went to the hospital and I had like some tests and they wanted to check like why it hurt and it was kind of difficult to um, diagnose, like they didn't know what was going really on because I didn't come in with like unbearable pain and I was on painkillers so that could have masked everything but it turns out after like the tests and everything I did have appendicitis my mom was right like when are you, when are your mothers like wrong <laughs> especially like about your health but well, my mom was right and I had appendicitis and I had to get surgery the next day it was completely unexpected so basically that weekend was arrivals weekend to come here to the uni of Brighton and I had two issues I didn't like my visa was delayed for some reason and I had to get a surgery so that was that and there was basically nothing I could do about it and I was just like what the hell so next thing in the morning like three hours later when they finally diagnosed me I got the surgery and it was a simple surgery we caught it at an early stage and it was fine really um, the recovery was a bit tough, but I had that surgery and then just had to recover from it for like 10 days at least It was it was quite tough because we couldn't like I couldn't sit up for a long time I couldn't and I couldn't like stand I had to lay down the whole time It was getting like really annoying. I couldn't sleep on my side and I sleep on my side Like ugh, it was so tough for that side and I basically couldn't eat anything and I'm using a little bit of the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair 1, just to illuminate. So I was feeling like a balloon and I couldn't do anything basically, it's nothing like I've ever felt before. It felt multiply bloating after you eat times like 100 and that was like me after a surgery. And oh my god, the bruising after the stitches, that was just horrid to look at. So I really didn't... I couldn't, I didn't feel like um, doing videos during that time while I was trying to heal. But then, like the last week of September was the most hectic and intense week I've ever gone through. I'm using a bit of my classic Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer. You know I love this. I'm just using a tiny bit to just conceal a little bit of my redness, some blemishes and things. Okay. So basically, the week of the 25th, on the 25th I got my stitches taken out and they said, okay, you can walk, you can do things, you can fly now, because I was supposed to fly to the UK on the 16th, but I got that damn surgery and my visa was delayed, but yeah. I had my stitches removed and everything like was fine and it was just, the surgery went completely fine and it's great i'm all better now i can do more things i still can't exercise and lift heavy things so um after i got my stitches out and they said i could fly to england i'm like great but now where's my visa i don't have my visa so i still get my visa and i was starting to panic a bit i was just like oh my god is it ever going to come and it did i'm here so no need to really panic but yeah that was intense so then tuesday came of that week and that week um, it rained so hard, so like, the strength of the rainfall was just unbelievable. And it actually made a leak in my house just because of that, which is like, that's how bad it was. And I had left my computer 
on the sofa and it wasn't raining when we left the house and we left the house for 15 minutes and in 15 minutes we had come back and then there was a leak on the sofa and the leak on the sofa was right next to my computer. My computer was not wet but the sofa was soaked so I assumed it would be wet so I just turned my computer off and just said okay I'll turn it on later or tomorrow and see if it still works and I was just panicking because I had by that time I had f four videos to upload I had three makeup videos and or two makeup videos and like a random one and a vlog to go up so I was just like really like Oh my god, oh, what am I gonna do? I just lost everything and I have to go to uni and blah, blah blah So I started overthinking and oh my god, it just got insane. It just got insane and basically that's what happened on Tuesday and that was Tuesday evening. And then on Wednesday, I got my visa. So I was just like, yay! I got my visa on Wednesday and I had no computer, I could go to England, what the hell was I gonna do? So we were trying to fix my computer that morning, like Wednesday afternoon that's when my visa came and that morning is that when we went to go look at like more laptops and and things to see like what we could do, like to try to fix my computer and see if it if it could actually be fixed because I had everything there and I basically just lost it. We couldn't fix the computer, it just, it got wet and when your computers get wet, they just die. So, so we looked for that on Wednesday and I finally got my visa on Wednesday and I was just like, right, okay, what are we doing? And then I had to go buy a new laptop on Thursday and since we knew that my visa came on Wednesday and I was already a week late, so we had freshers week, like intro week, introduction week, induction week, whatever you call it in like your country, it's like the week before you actually start school where you just like look around and just like meet people and things. Well, I missed that, so I was already anxious about that. And then um, I missed the first week because of like trying to recover from the surgery and then I didn't get my visa until Wednesday. So by Thursday I got my laptop and then we had to look for tickets for flights to the UK because I, we couldn't purchase um, flights over here unless we actually had... Um, my visa, so we hadn't bought them. Imagine how like expensive they would have gotten by that time, which sucks, but That's what happened. And then on Thursday we had to kind of figure out things and I was just like trying to get my laptop Started because the new one like, you know, you have everything on your old laptop and you have to like re-download everything and just like update backup because if I was leaving that weekend or the next one I, I wasn't going to be able to do it again and I was just like that weekend that I was going to stay home so it's just like damn it so I did that like really hurriedly <laughs> so I did that all of uh, Thursday and then on Friday my father called me and said okay I bought your tickets you're leaving this Sunday and I'm like what uh, my flight was from Mexico City so I had to c come to Mexico City one day before and literally Friday was the last day I was going to be there I had to get everything done that day oh my gosh I remember the feeling of like non-stop moving and I could not sit down even for like a wee. So I had to go and fix like my phone as in I had to get it unlocked and I had to go like buy the last bits and still back up my computer and, and like transfer files from like the cloud and my music and set it up like you know that takes a really long time to do to actually get it to how your things normally are. So I took forever doing that and then I was also meant to pack that day but then I remember like by the time I finished all of those things it was like 5 p.m. and I was just like I need to say goodbye to my friends here or else everyone's going to hate me and so we all met up super like short notice and it was just like oh my god okay who wants to like come in I'm leaving on Saturday to go to Mexico City because I fly on Sunday and I'm leaving and I'm like who wants to see me I want to say goodbye to you and I was like oh my god horrible but then luckily I found out that a friend of mine was also leaving on Sunday and they were throwing him this party and I wasn't really invited to the party so I didn't know and I was just like hey do you think I could come and say goodbye to everyone else like I know it's like your party and you're leaving and yeah I just want to say goodbye to everyone and, and he's like my friend he said like yeah sure it's fine it doesn't matter and I'm just like okay yeah cool and um, I mean I don't mind the fact that he didn't invite me initially I don't really mind so I say goodbye to most of the people and then I just like came back really late 
um, because it was kind of like a half like house party, goodbye party thing. And excuse my brows if they're a bit, you know, messy, I have to do them. I came back like at 2 a.m. with uh, one of my friends and um, that friend, like, we had been, we had known each other for uh, like quite a few years and we never, we were never close. And we learned just like that day that we were really similar and that we had tons of things in common we liked the same things and I only literally had like six hours left in like where I lived like get it that was, I was just like damn it no and then like she would have been like the best friend ever over there but we just didn't really notice so yeah that sucks so if you can learn something from this video and like about friendship and life and things like that it's just like actually get to know people like if you know them like go out and things and talk to them that's something that's really hard for me and I get it if like you struggle making friends and things if anything you can take anything from this video is actually just like talk to people or try to like make a little bit of conversation not really small talk but if you can talk to a person like kind of get to know them then you would never know like who they could be to you they could be like one of your best friends ever or they could be like i don't know um your boyfriend your girlfriend whoever like you have no idea just get to know people and plus you can also like learn tons of things from talking to people and meeting new people so it's definitely good to do that just talk to them it's it sounds really dumb and stupid but yeah talk to people get to know them because then you, things would happen to you like they happened to me you notice that you could have potentially had like a, a really good friend a, like a best friend and you didn't really so you're like oh damn it so that happened and then when I came back like at 3 a.m. back to my house I had to pack and I couldn't I was just super tired I got up early the next day so on Saturday to start packing and I thought I wouldn't take long to pack but I realized how many things I had and how many things I didn't want to leave behind I'm a very sentimental person and it took me such a long time to try to pack I actually didn't finish I had to bring like haul most of my things in just like a bag and then finish packing in Mexico City when I arrived at my aunt's house or flat so should I say I say house for her house but whatever so as I said, I went to Mexico City on Saturday and we came there really late because we didn't wake up as early as we wanted to. Like, we woke up early, but I woke up early to pack, not to leave. Yeah, but that wasn't good because then we left like super late to Mexico City and we arrived like at 6 p.m. or 8, I don't really know, not at 6. And we, I, I had to say goodbye to like most family members, I couldn't say goodbye to everyone, but I, most family members I had to go see like my great-grandma, my two grandmas, and my aunts and everyone, and I really wanted to say goodbye. That was really difficult. We ended up finishing everything like at 12, like at midnight, so I was super tired that day, so was mom. My poor mom like drove me all the way to Mexico City for me to leave, and we were just knackered after that. Um, yeah, when we came back after saying goodbye to everyone, it was midnight and we just wanted to have dinner and sleep but I still had to pack so I packed and I slept like at 3 that night. Oh my gosh, that was such a hectic week. Anyways, I'm going to do my eyes and I'm trying out this new eyeshadow palette that I got. It's the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette but this one's in the cool neutrals. I want to play with a neutral today. Feeling, feeling a bit cool Tony today. Then I left the next day to go to the airport and to go to England and it took 12 hours to get here which was all right we didn't have any delays it didn't take longer it's just it's a long flight and I actually really like long flights because that means I can sleep and so yeah on Sunday I flew here and then I arrived on Monday and the first thing that I did was like come into the school and register and everything and it was pretty hectic because everyone kind of already knew what they were doing, where they were going, how to take buses and everything, and I didn't, I was new, I was just like, okay, how do you do this, how do you do that? So yeah, that was, that was fun. The first week that I came, like, it was just trying to figure out where I was going, what to do, and try to like, go out, and the first week I went to the beach, and the beach here in Brighton, Brighton Beach is just gorgeous, it's amazing, and luckily, England received me with like, it's best weather, I think. And the second week I actually got fresher's flu and I thought it wasn't a thing until I got it. I got really ill, not gonna lie, that really hit me hard. So yeah, that's what happened. The second week and then like the third week 
was just uh, fine. It just still trying to recover, recover a bit. And then I made some friends and I really like them. Um, they're really nice and and yeah everything's been really great um, I'm starting exams this week actually I actually have an exam tomorrow I'm filming this on a Tuesday um by the way I got like a Halloween background going on and I'm, I'm really bummed that I didn't do any Halloween tutorials like I barely I, I, I haven't done any I will do one I'll try to make a second one but it's like so soon to Halloween and I'm just like oh but I mean, I moved country, I'm studying, didn't have like any Halloween bits, I left a ton of my makeup back home. So yeah, it was like a struggle, but I feel like I am going to try to do at least one tutorial, I'm going to try to make it two in time for Halloween because it's like so near. Yeah, that's what basically has been going on. Oh. Ooh, this eyeshadow is like quite pigmented actually. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I would love to know um, what you guys have been up to, really, like, I haven't spoken to you guys in such a long time and I really want to get back into the swing of things and just like show you around, I cannot wait till I do like vlogs um, around the beach and do things because I'm so excited. <laughs> Like, tell me, how's, how's the past, like, month happened? What you've been up to? How's school going? How's uni going? Um, yeah, I'd love to know. Or even work. Or how's your break going? Yeah, tell me how you've been, um, what you've been up to. And also, if you're really interested in, like, a specific tutorial or anything you want me to see, I would love to do that. Um, <clears throat> I'm using the... Uh, Estee Lauder, is it Estee Lauder? Yeah, it's the Double Wear Same Place Eye Pencil. It's in the shade 01 Onyx, and I'm just gonna rub it like against my lash line right at the edge to define it really. Yeah, but yeah, I'm so excited for Halloween. I think this year for Halloween, I'm going to be like a shadow hunter. It's like quite easy. I'm at uni, I don't really have like all my costumes and fancy dresses and things and such, so I'm going to be a shadow hunter. And um, I'm probably going to do a tutorial on it if you want to see one or how to like be one. Um, just tell me in the comments down below or if you have like anything specific, any autumnal videos, any makeup looks, anything you'd feel like you'd want me to do, I leave it in the comments down below and I'll do that. <clears throat> I feel like wearing a little bit, like patting a tiny bit of glitter like on my lids, like my inner lid. So to apply the glitter, I'm going to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue Primer. So yeah, that's something new. I'm just going to use a tiny bit just to really pat it onto my eyelid, really. And the glitter that I'm using is the Bisu Glitter um, in the shade 22, as you can see here. It's can you see the glitter? It's a bit holographic and I just want to, I just want to put a tiny bit of that glitter onto my eye lid. <laughs> I think that's enough glitter. I just want a sprinkle of glitter on my lids. Yeah, also, I'm so excited for Christmas as well. Like every single time it gets like to the Halloween stage. After Halloween, I'm just super excited for Christmas. And I've got to say, I've been really, I'm doing really well this year and I haven't watched any films. I haven't done anything Christmassy yet. And I've only listened to the songs this Monday because I just couldn't take it. I really wanted to sing the Baby It's Cold Outside song. So I'm just so happy and excited for the Christmas market and everything's like really autumnal as well. I love the leaves. Um, it's like quite chilly so it's like feels autumnal and like grabbing a cup of tea or cozying up with a blanket and it's just like oh I love it I'm so happy to be here and I'm just so excited for everything that's coming I can't wait for Christmas and just like autumn is like lovely as well a lot of people complain about the weather here but i'm just like actually really like the weather even though sometimes it's like oh it's muggy you know i haven't seen the sun the whole day but it's fine like i rather appreciate the sun when it comes out than hate it 24 7 because i'm sweating out so yeah it's been amazing oh by the way i'm using the maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. It's a waterproof one, but the packaging changes here, so the packaging's like blue. Yeah, in Mexico it's black and it says waterproof. Oh god, I'm getting mascara everywhere. 
I've also been loving, I'm trying to speak and do this at the same time, which is very difficult. Very difficult. Not a bad mind either. I've also been loving walking by the beach and just like having a stroll. Finally went to the place I really wanted to go to and I finally found Dum Dum, Dum Donuts last weekend or the weekend before that. No, it was it last weekend? Yeah, it was last weekend. And oh my gosh, those Dum Dum Cronuts and Donuts are amazing. They're so good. For Lippy, I'm going to use the Kiss Me by Live Glam lipstick in the shade Teddy Bear, which is kind of like a 90s nude, but it's a bit more cool tone. It's brownie, but it's a bit like, once it dries, it looks a bit cool tone, so. Just gonna put my earrings on. I hate doing my makeup with like big hoop earrings. It gets in the way or my hair gets tangled. So I just wear it afterwards. Where's the down? Basically that was it. I just really wanted to update you and tell you that I was like really sorry that I didn't upload for a really long time, but um, I have tons of things going on. And now I finally have like, I, I put up my room only yesterday with like decorations and this video is going up like tomorrow I hope or Thursday. I don't know. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I love this. I'm so happy. Please tell me in the comments down below if you want to see anything specific, any tutorials, anything Halloween-y, anything autumnal, anything not autumnal, like anything like, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? Anything. Just like, I don't know. I have no idea. You guys tell me what you want to see and I'll definitely yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video and like that i'm back and are excited for like autumn and maybe like a halloween tutorial and things please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel stay tuned because i'm also uploading vlogs like about like something uni related maybe like my uni experience things like that and just like vlogs by the beach in brighton and everything so i'm really really excited if you are interested in those stay tuned especially around like my social media that's where i tend to post like when i upload a video or when i'm like vlogging or you can tend to see like my life and what i'm doing every day that's like much more constant if you want to see that um but yeah don't forget to subscribe and i love you guys so much uh thank you for watching and yeah uh, i'll see you in my next video bye Oh, this you crazy mother-